Hi all, um, just thought I'd really go through how wonderful this world is. Really, um, I have been at home for quite a while and watched a lot of news and um, I'm tired of it quite frankly and I just want to say that you lot out there are fabulous because since posting these vlogs, which I took the decision very early on um, to do because it's helping me and it's hopefully, I know it's helping others because I've had so many public messages um, from a whole variety of people who know me and don't know me and you're out there um, but so many private messages as well it's just so overwhelming from people whose mums have been diagnosed and you know their mums just don't want to talk about it and they don't know how to help them so by me giving some examples of things it's helping I had someone contact me just last night whose son age five um, is going through this and he said listening to me is helping him again understand some of the things they're going through um, to a whole host of people who've been, there's so many people who've been through it, it still scares me, writing saying we went through this, um, you're going to beat it and you know what, it really inspires me because I do worry, I really do worry, I, I know I'm confident um, but I do worry deep down, you know, what if it doesn't clear, which it will, I know it will, but what if it comes back, that's the next phase I'll go through and there's so many people, the longest one so far is one of uh, my colleagues in the industry who's been clear for 27 years. So that's my target because you know what, we're competitive in the sport recreation industry. So I'm going to I'm going to beat you. You know you are. I won't say your names because lots of private messages are confidential. But um, just to say you're an astonishing bunch. You inspire me. You keeping me smiling during the tough days. And um, I'm going to continue doing these vlogs, even on the down days, not just on the smiley days, because I think it's important you see the absolute roller coaster um, that, that cancer and chemo is. You can go from high as a kite to, to, to low as a mole, quite frankly. So um, thank you. And just some shout outs. My kids are watching the vlogs as well. And they said, Mummy, you've got to do shout outs to get more people watching. So here's a shout out. Um, we have a little family a community in the, the chemo suite because you're always going on the same day. So you get to know each other. Um, and two fabulous ladies um we've both we've all kind of kept our our bald heads so monica shout out to monica who's having a really tough time um monica's polish and unfortunately uh, has been treated very differently to me in terms of some of our nhs staff so when you get uh, cancer you get a chemo card as you know the yellow card if you get into accident emergency because you're in a serious state you get seen very quickly and put into a private room because the chance of infection um i've done that twice now and they deal with you very quickly you're straight in a room and looked after unfortunately monica was sat in a and e in the public area for two hours so it makes you realize sometimes how how um Britain is, is working, I, I guess, in that respect. So, but she's fab and uh, I love spending time with, with Monica. And then Nicola, you know you are. Nicola's a guru. She keeps me up to date on everything that's happening. And when I forgot to take my steroids uh, two days ago, she was in chemo herself and she was asking the nurses what to do and sorted that all out for me. And Nicola's an, an absolute Trojan looking after her kids going through this on her own. Her partner left her on diagnosis, which is lovely. Um, so, as I say, there's just some, some lovely people. On my first time in chemo, there was an Italian lady um, who had terminal stage four cancer, but was hilarious, was so upbeat. She's in every two weeks for our chemo. She looked fabulous. And she just gives us so many tips of, of what to do and what not to do, which mouthwash is best that makes that your teeth is the right color and all this sort of thing. And about her colostomy bag and she gave it a name and all this sort of business. Um, to the lady who was there this week, Irish lady, um, daughter, whose elderly dad was in for treatment. And honestly, I mean, she, she was yelling at him. He wasn't eating the right food. He was losing weight. He wasn't doing exercise and really going for him. And I kind of had to be careful not to say, do you know how difficult this is, sweetheart? It's really tough. And uh, he was only eating porridge and she was clearly just so worried about him. But you know what, if your partner's going through this and all they can eat is porridge, all I ate for most of the time is white bread, principally because it bungs me up and it saves me having problems on the loo. Um, you've just got to go with it. You've just got to work through this this period. And the consultants will advise you, they're very good. So, but the community, we again, we were sitting in the, the waiting area of oncology, me, Monica and uh, Nicola, the three witches with our bald heads and we were just we were a little bit out of control we're giggling because you're nervous you're getting some results you're going in for treatment you're seeing the consultant and the way that we deal with it it was we have we have a giggle with each other and a guy came out he'd just been diagnosed with his wife and you could see they they were in shock and um we waited for them to talk to us um 
and then uh, we went back um i think it was a day later i'd gone back for some more tests and he was there again and he just came over he said you you lifted me he said i was in a, in a wreck and he said just seeing you lot dealing with it and we had a, just a lovely chat about work about how to deal with that so this is a real community and that's what you need around you so just to say if you're going through this you're not on your own um if your mum's going through it, your dad's going through it, your partner's going through it you are not alone there's a lot of people out there talk about it i know it's i know it's difficult to talk about it but believe you me if you do there'll be so many people that can help not just the charities but, but friends relatives people in the village will help as well kind of thing um because we do live in a great british country that's not a political comment it's we do have some wonderful people around and, and remember that that's my little note for today um i'm going to take some more steroids see you soon bye